After I was diagnosed, I had this incredible feeling of disbelief. I had uh, been healthy and athletic and active my whole life. There was no cancer in our family. I was well controlled with the standard treatments of hydroxyurea and therapeutic phlebotomies for about 10 years of my disease. About the 10th year, uh, I saw some significant changes happening. My blood counts became extremely unstable. It was a, a tough struggle, and, and it was a tough struggle for my children to watch as well as my, my wife. I had a horrible headache all day, just felt kind of really out of it. So my friend says, you know, come on, Stephanie, and, you know, kind of nudged me, and that caused me to fall onto the floor. They, of course, had called my mother, and she was there within just a couple of minutes. Uh, but as soon as I saw her, I, you know, I knew something really bad had just happened. As a mom, you know, you put on a strong front, but inside, you know, my mind was racked with fear as well. I asked my doctor, who was a very experienced, very bright doctor, where's the research? And uh, he said, basically, uh, Bob, there really isn't any. I founded the MPN Research Foundation in 1999, after uh, some years after I was diagnosed with polycythemia vera. The MPN Foundation, I think, is a unique organization of a lot of inspirational people who have energized research in this particular area and has made a world of difference, really, in, um, in basically how we look at these disorders. What motivates me to go to work in the morning is the potential that, that each day there's a, there's a chance for a important discovery that, that will ultimately lead to changes in how we treat patients. MPN Research Foundation has funded directly our work, which is uh, essential. They've also provided a huge amount of motivation to, to really pursue MPN research in my lab. Organizations like the MPN Foundation are essential for our progress. Virtually all of the major advances in MPN science in the last 10, 12, 13 years have been in some part supported by the work that we do. Well, for us, the Foundation's been really helpful. I mean, they essentially provided a seed grant for us that led to our getting our funding from the National Cancer Institute for our research consortium, which is in its seventh year of funding. The funding for the patients is vital to finding better treatments, vital to finding that cure. We work with patient samples and we work with large-scale sequencing efforts and we feel like these are some of the most important things to do for making progress in MPN research. So I think you can be reassured that the money is, that you're providing is, is being used for the best purposes. We've learned so much since I was diagnosed. So to think of what the next 15, 16, 17 years will be, you know, we may find that cure. I really believe that. I know how serious these diseases are, and I'm in this basically to try and make people better. I needed to be a father and a husband to my family, and uh, I needed to do everything that I possibly can to do that. And I think that those moments where you see success, especially in individual patients, is probably the single most rewarding uh, part of my experience in my job. Seeing her as a parent today is very rewarding. I mean, I speak about my daughter, I get very emotional because that's something I always wanted. And in the back of my mind, I thought that may be something that would be kept from me because of ET. Well, I feel proud that we provided an important resource for, uh, for patients and for their health and, and an important uh, avenue for hope.